Anita Ekberg, the luminous Swedish actress whose presence graced the golden age of cinema, stands as a timeless emblem of beauty, talent, and enchantment. Born on September 29, 1931, in Malmö, Sweden, Ekberg's presence graced the silver screen with an allure that blended beauty, talent, and a touch of mystique. In her teens, Anita worked as a fashion model. Ekberg entered the Miss Malmo competition in 1950 at her mother's urging. This led to the Miss Sweden contest which she won. Despite speaking very little English, she went to the United States to compete for the 1951 Miss Universe title. Although Ekberg did not win the Miss Universe pageant, as one of six finalists, she did earn a starlet's contract with Universal Studios. The combination of Ekberg's voluptuous physique and colorful private life, such as her well-publicized romances with Hollywood's leading men like Frank Sinatra, Tyrone Power, Yul Brynner, Rod Taylor, and Errol Flynn, appealed to gossip magazines, like Confidential and she soon became a major 1950s pinup, appearing in men's magazines like Playboy. Additionally, Ekberg participated in publicity stunts. She once admitted that an incident in which her dress burst open in the lobby of London's Berkeley Hotel was prearranged with a photographer. Ekberg's ascent to stardom was marked by an undeniable charisma and a commitment to her craft that set her apart. It was in Federico Fellini's masterpiece, La Dolce Vita, 1960, that Ekberg's star shone brightest. As Sylvia, the ethereal ingenue who waded through the iconic Trevi Fountain, Ekberg immortalized herself as a symbol of unapologetic elegance and joie de vivre. Beyond her iconic moment, Ekberg's cinematic repertoire spanned genres, showcasing her versatility in depth. Roles in War and Peace and Hollywood or Bust, 1956, demonstrated her ability to seamlessly traverse the spectrum from drama to comedy. Each performance, a testament to her range, captivated audiences and critics alike. She later said, things became a little bit boring for me after La Dolce Vita because every producer or director in Italy, England and America wanted me to recreate the same role, the movie star from America who comes over to Italy. While Anita Ekberg's on-screen presence captivated audiences and solidified her as a cinematic legend, her personal life was equally intriguing, marked by relationships, triumphs, and the eventual passing of a true icon. In 1956, she entered into a high-profile marriage with English actor Anthony Steele. The union garnered attention from media and fans alike, as the glamorous couple seemed to epitomize the allure of Hollywood romance. However, the marriage faced challenges, eventually leading to their divorce in 1959. In 1963, she married actor Rick Van Nutter, a union that lasted until their divorce in 1975. In a 2006 interview, she said she wished she had a child, but stated just the opposite six months later. Ekberg's great love was Johnny Agnelli, the Italian industrialist and owner of Fiat. They were lovers for several years, although he was married. Ekberg was often outspoken in interviews, e.g., naming famous people she reportedly couldn't bear. She was also frequently quoted as saying that it was Fellini who owed his success to her, rather than vice versa, they would like to keep up the story that Fellini made me famous, that Fellini discovered me, she said in a 1999 interview with the New York Times. Ekberg died on January 11, 2015, at the age of 83, at the Clinic San Rafael in Rocca di Papa, Roman castles, from complications of chronic illnesses. The actress had been in a wheelchair for several years after being knocked down by one of her pet Great Danes, which broke her hip. In retrospect, Anita Ekberg's life and work stand as a testament to the indomitable spirit of a woman who transformed herself into an icon. Her contributions to cinema, her unwavering dedication to her craft, and her enduring appeal make her a revered figure in the tapestry of film history. Subscribe to see more iconic personalities in vintage photos and learn their stories.